there weren't too many uh, women uh, that uh, around in those days. You know, it was uh, Tony Fields, rest her soul, was good, but she wasn't really part of the roast in those days. I, don't ask me why. And uh, I, I can't really think of, uh, you know, uh, at that time, uh, of women that were, that she could, you know, have, have a lot of fun. Lucille Bull I bring up because she was a real pro, you know, she, she was great and knew how to handle herself. But a lot of women were afraid of those shows too, you know, because they're kid, kidding around and making fun of them. It wasn't done then so much, you know, as it is to, as it, like today, they, they fight to get them on, you know. She was wonderful, she really was, and very bright. But nobody realized, Phyllis, when you're alone with her as a person, but she created this character. Uh, in fact, she was so in love with Bob Hope, she used to run in front of his car and hope it hit her. I mean, she, 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 she thought Bob Hope was the funniest guy in the world. You know, well, it's a matter of taste. But, uh, no, Bob was, was great, but, you know, uh, she, she worshipped him, you know. I used to make fun of her, you know, saying, Bob's not here. Well, there's a war going to get started, why don't you follow him, you know. In fact, I said, at one of the roasts, I was doing a roast, and it was the Dean Martin roast, as a matter of fact. And oh, everybody was there, all the stars on the roast. And I said, uh, geez, there's no Bob Hope. And during that, in walked Bob Hope. I said, oh my God, there must be a war on, you know, because he wasn't there. And he, and he came in from, from overseas. But he was, he, he was a kind guy. I did his show many times. In fact, when you did his show, Bob, and Milton Berle, God love him, who was my hero when I was a kid, when you did his show, you walk in like I had, I had to make an entrance. So I'd walk in and say, uh, hi, Bob, how are you? And he'd say, is that, is that the way you're going to do it? And I'd say, well, what's the matter, Bob? <laughs> you, don't, you don't know? Do it again, huh, please. And in those days, you had dress rehearsals before the picture. And all oh, cameramen, lights, people. Oh, okay. All right, roll them again with Rickles. Oh, come in. Uh, hey, Don, how are you? How are you, Bob? You, you're going to do it like that? I said, to him, well, what's the matter, Bob? You, you don't know? Tommy, he got all his writers to stand there with cigars and those days and hats. They go, he's so out of line, Moulton. The kid could be funny, but he don't, tell you, he don't say it right. You know, I talk like that because that's the way they talked. How they got the job, I don't know. You know? But they don't sweet out Bobby, uh, Bob. You, you got to you know, talk to the kid. I must have said hello, Bob, 28 times till he said, that's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. But he was a kind man, but he had, in those days, they had everything there, their set ways. And if you didn't do it like they liked it, you know, forget it.